Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So we're here at Yellow Jacket RV Park and we've actually been here for about four days now just enjoying what the park has to offer. We've been swimming, we've been barbecuing, and we've done a little fishing. But today we're going on our first adventure and it's before 7 a.m. and I have all three of the girls out of bed. So today we're going to head right down the road to Gainesville, Florida. All right, are you ready to go? I'm as ready as I'm gonna be at 8.15 in the morning. I told everybody I got you up before seven. <laughs> hey, in a rare occurrence, we were in the truck before you today. Well, it's because I was doing things for the camper. <laughs> I know you were, <laughs> I just like to give you a hard time. So anyway, I told them we're heading to Gainesville and we yeah. don't really have a plan. We just know there's things to do there. Yep. And we're going to find them out. All right, Ashley wants to see butterflies. I told her we might find some. I thought we were going to see a sloth. A sloth? Yeah. Maybe. I found a place that has those two things. Butterflies and a sloth. Yep. All right. Unique combination. Here we go. <laughs> just got here to Gainesville, Florida, and we're actually on the campus of the University of Florida. We're gonna go explore the campus, and we got something we're gonna do here that's right outside the gates. Bates and set of gas and they're like this. <laughs> no, my Cullen, Cullen apartments or Cullen Oaks apartments didn't look like this either. I'm telling you right now, even the dorms are cool here. I think we messed up. We should have came to school in Florida. All right, we just stopped here at the Florida Gators track and field stadium. The gates were locked, so we couldn't go and check it out, but it's pretty cool to see. And for those of you who don't know, a long time ago, and a time far, far away, I ran track at the University of Houston. So it's cool to see all this. So the gates are locked, so I couldn't get in and see the track. Aww. So I told them I used to run track a long, long time ago. Yeah. You want to go see what you used to do a long, long time ago? <laughs> we can. I wish the track was open. You could have showed them your pole vaulting skills. I don't think I can pole vault anymore. You don't got them anymore? No. <laughs> it's okay. I probably don't have the skills required for what I used to do either. Alicia, what is that? That's our Zeta Tall Alpha sign. Our five point crown. Our house didn't look like that. Hi. We didn't get a house on campus till I think my last year there. And, and our houses on campus were what? Giant <laughs> apartment complexes? They were so tiny. I think we fit maybe 12 rooms if that. I think there was about 20 people that lived there. This one looks like Probably about a hundred people could live in there. It went way back. They have way more sororities and fraternities here than they had at U of H. Yeah, they do. And every one of their houses is bigger. The biggest <laughs> house for us was the Sigma Nu and it was on campus and it wasn't even that big. Right, these are huge. They're so awesome. And I definitely don't, uh, I can't participate. With baby, there's no drinking allowed and I bet they do a lot of drinking. Did you do a lot of drinking? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. I can't disclose that with my children in the car. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Okay, so you see all these cars? Yeah. You know what they're for? What? Look, show them the cars. Cars everywhere. Cars are Look at the stadium. Look everywhere. how full the stadium is. Can you see them? Oh my goodness. Oh, you you can see the people University of Florida baseball. There was never, and we've always had a really good baseball team at U of H. This is true. We never had that many people at a U of H baseball no. game. And we had a pretty big stadium, but... Not that big. Yeah, not that big and not that crowded. But I guess if you win national champions, uh, you have that kind of a crowd. <laughs> or maybe it's just an SEC thing, because I think LSU is the same way. Yeah. U of H was always a top 10 team when we were there, and we never had this many people for a baseball yeah, game. There's cars every part of campus. Oh, look over here. They're going somewhere. There's, I think it's probably softball. Oh, the softball game had a line to go in. My goodness. Go Gators. Go Gators. I hope y'all win. All right, Alicia. Where are we? We are at a museum. It's called oh. the Florida Natural History Museum. Oh, I thought we were going to science. Natural History Museum. So Alicia, where are we? We're at the Florida. So, hey Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> hey Alicia. The Florida Natural History Museum. Hey Alicia, where are we? Here at Florida State University. It's not Florida State, that's oh. the Seminoles. <laughs> Seriously, I, I also that's asked, like saying A and M and UT in the same sentence. I also asked, was the school's mascot the Tigers? Because we saw a tiger, and it's the Gators. It's the Florida Tigers. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! So what is this one called? We're at the Florida Natural History Museum, and it's actually on campus. Earlier, but what's the name of the college? University of Florida. Oh, okay. And I said Florida State. That's yeah. right. And that's like calling an Aggie a Longhorn. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> This is a really beautiful campus. Yep. But I don't think we would have survived here. Why? Because at U of H, I could walk from one corner to the other in 20 minutes. Well, that's why they have these nifty little scooters now. This is huge. Like we drove around for probably like 30 to 40 minutes and we didn't see the whole campus. I know. Like from the football stadium to the sorority houses would probably be like a 40 minute walk. I was trying to remember like how much time was in between classes. Like 10 or 15 minutes, yeah. right? You would have to like hustle. Everyone here on has a scooter scooters. Here. And now it makes sense. Yeah, I just thought they were being. And now it makes sense why the the dorms are in the very middle. Yeah, so you can get everywhere. This place is easy. huge. It is. Definitely would have been a different experience yep. than U of H. Yeah. Hey Ashlyn, what's this thing right here? An elephant. Close. Family of the elephant. It's a little baby butterfly chair from Kayla. Aww. Oh, and you're the big one. Look, y'all have wings. Oh, that's cool. All right, so where's our first stop? Butterflies. Since I can't deliver on a sloth, we found out that was a traveling exhibit here. So it's not here this year. Now you have to tell but, them we've been here before. Yeah, we have been here before. This uh, museum we came to last year when we were in Florida. And we're going to see if Ashlyn remembers it. So far, I don't think she does. But now we're gonna go in and see the butterfly exhibit. All right. That door's closed. No touching. Now we can go outside. Be nice, don't touch.
got pink. I said yeah. You have one. Look, I have one on my shoulder. <laughs> You're the butterfly whisperer. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> oh, I wish it was on the girls. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. You haven't seen that one yet. The blue. Pretty. Donna's pink. She wants to hold it so bad. <laughs> she was running around going, mine, I know. mine, <laughs> mine. Which one do you like? You like that one? Come on, no. What about these over here? Ooh, which one's your favorite? Yeah, this one. Oh, look, this one looks like the one that landed on mommy. Yeah. But I love this one. That you love that one? Too. What's this called? The giant bear dog. Giant and, bear dog. And three-toed dwarf horse. Three-toed dwarf horse. There it's they a are. Baby horse. We could fit that one in the RV for sure. <laughs> yeah. You still want to go swimming? <laughs> you make you think twice about getting in the ocean. So all of these are extinct? Uh-huh. Except for the last one. Really? That's the great white. Oh my god. But all these were found in Florida. Really? So you still oh, want to go swimming? Butterfly. Not back in the day. <laughs> I mean, a great white is still huge, but this thing right here is massive. Go stand next to the window. That's the tallest. So only this one? Yep, oh this is God. a great white. I could eat a person. For oh, sure. they, they have. Oh my <laughs> gosh, can you imagine? Get, oh, look at it. Yeah. Oh, it's rubbing on you. <laughs> so what'd you think about the museum? I think it felt three times bigger than the last time we were here. I don't know if it's because we stopped at every single thing with the kids or what. And then they had lots of new stuff open this time. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun though. They had a lot for the kids to do. So anyway, we're getting ready to head home and I found something else I want to stop by and check out on the way there. What's that? You'll see when we get there. All right, so we made it here to the Big Daddy Don Garlis Drag Racing Museum. Let's head inside and check out all these race cars. Yeah, look, what's this big plane doing here? I don't know, I thought we were at a drag racing museum. Well, he explains right here. He was in the US Navy.
going to see some race cars. Did you even sleep last night? I did not. I thought about How this. Was this like Christmas for you? The tickets to get in are like the pit passes from when you go to the events. Are they? I've never been, so. You know, I, I used to know. go to the NHRA every year when it came to Houston. Yeah. Up until I started working offshore. Oh. I went like seven or eight years in a row. So you've seen these kind of cars? No, no, no not these. These are oh. old school. Oh, okay. Some of those at the end? Yeah. Yes, we'll see the ones that we saw. Ah, we so need if to you've take never the girls. Been, it's something else. Yeah? Are they you, too young? No, no. They'll think it's awesome. They'll have to wear earmuffs. Oh. We'll have to wear earmuffs. Yeah? I know. It's, it's crazy to see a car go that fast that quick. Oh my goodness. just told me that my belly's bigger than his. Everyone's been wanting a baby bump, so let's compare. Did old Buster Couch beat me? <laughs> I think I'm beating him by quite a bit. <laughs> What's wrong? Daddy, why this one's your favorite race car? Because it got a lot of stickers on it. It's got a lot of stickers on it. <laughs> oh, so the more stickers, the faster it is? <laughs> the prettier it is. <laughs> That's all we're going for is pretty. It's got lots of stickers. Fast. We're learning all the what, things. What is, what is this right here? This is a transmission. The sign over there told me it's a three-speed transmission. Do you know what it does? I don't know what a transmission does. It makes the car go forward. <laughs> it's the drive. <laughs> <laughs> Except for he has a lever for each one of his gears. Usually they're called Linkos. I bet that's a Linko. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, it is. Look at you. You do know what you're talking about. There's a reason we had the cars we had before. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about the, the NHRA museum? <laughs> the museum, I have, I don't mind. I like looking at all the cars. This stuff is like being in a room of, I have no idea what That doesn't do anything is. for you? <laughs> that does nothing for me. I mean, I like how neat it is and how clean it is, but no. I can't tell you the difference of this one or this one is which one's better. Well, that's old school. That's 8,000 horsepower. <laughs> oh. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need a race car. So this room right here smells like an actual race car. It does. That's what I was thinking. It smells like burnouts and engines running. This whole room smells like they didn't even take the oil out when they parked them in here. <laughs> there was some relatively no ones in here, right? Yeah. Yeah? Well, from the early 2000s. Oh, okay. That's crazy that the smell is still here. Smells like a race car. Yeah.
Okay, we just got done exploring the NHRA Museum and now we're going right next door to his classic car, Hot Rod Museum. Welcome. Welcome. To another building full of cars. I saw Ford on the sign. Hey. Hey. This whole building, I think, is full of Fords. Yeah? Right there. Ford over All the way down. Oh my goodness. Nothing but a hot rod Fords. Awesome. Alright, we just got done exploring the Don Garlis NHRA Museum and Classic Car Museum. I loved it. What do you think, Alicia? I thought it was good. I was really shocked by how much Ashlyn enjoyed it. Kayla seemed to like it too. I could come here all day, every day. <laughs> I know you could. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, we gotta go.